Hello everyone, this is Roxas1359. Welcome back to Let's Play Escape 3. Last time, we recaptured all of the Freaky Monkey 5, this time managing to capture Pink Monkey as well, so then she can't release them all again. We found out where Spectre is. Not all of Space Station Sutter 3 was destroyed. So, let's go to the Spectre's final battle. I'm gonna love the music that plays for this. So, let's go. It's time for you to give up! Yeah! Before you get hurt! Huh? What the... What do you mean? Just as you see, I give up. You've beaten me. I am surrendering. Well, all right then. Well, come on, come on. Arrest me. Take me in. Well, okay then. Huh? Hang on a second! Fools! <laughs> I got you! I got you! So how does it feel to be captured yourselves? You tricked us! Tricked you? Oh, come on now! It's called strategy. Strategy. Didn't I tell you that I'm much smarter than before? <laughs> oh, I do love comebacks. Yeah, I could have seen that one coming my way. And now we are in a final boss battle against Spectre. Break out of there, and the other one will remain up there. It depends on whose character you play. So I'm going to have you guys listen to the music real quick and see if you guys can guess it. You guys recognized it? That's right! The final boss music for this game is a remix of Spectre's Ape Escape 1 theme! And it's actually one of my favorite final boss themes for Spectre in the Ape Escape series. Only eclipsed by that of Big Mission when I found it. Now the Spectre battle in this one's a lot more difficult because of how everything is just moved around. Uh, and the fact that the platforms keep falling. At least he doesn't electrify the water yet. There we go. Don't want it to be the end of me. I do love this music. It's one of my favorite ones. Although it's very easy to hit Spectre. Don't want it to be the end of me. Oh, uh, so easy, Tarada. You know how to make final boss music. Unlike that. What was in Ape Escape? Uh oh, he's gonna do no mercy. You can always tell when he's gonna telegraph his attacks. Oh, jeez. Good to know the gorilla had survived the explosion, too. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Right, and as you can see, we're getting. Uh oh. Here it comes. Here it comes. Yeah. Boop. Yeah. I'm not gonna quit it. Yeah. Let I still love that the actually I lied thing is still in the background there. Honestly, he was pulling a Dr. Wily. I'm sorry, I'm never going to do it again. Ten Mega Man's later, and the man doesn't do it anymore because he's dead. He's dead by the X series. Honestly, you just need to insert the great Clement Dr. Wily voice for that one for the um I'm sorry one, and it goes along with it perfectly. I can jump over it. As you can see, it's a lot more hectic for this battle. That's why I love it. That and the music. I you guys know I'm a music snob at this point. You, you guys should. It's been three ape escapes. And there we go! So, for the last time in Ape Escape 3, Monkey! And there we go. That's all the monkeys, folks! Kind of an easy battle, but a lot more hectic. I liked it. Let's go! Hey! We'll be late! I know, I know! Oops! I forgot something! Ouch! Hey, that hurts! Just what do you think you're doing? I should say the same to you! And just as it began, is just how it ends. There you go, ladies and gentlemen! 
Ape Escape 3, created and developed by Sony Computer Entertainment Japan. As you can see in the credits, it will play both Yumi and Kei's cutscenes and the differences which are on the bottom. Of course, I showed them during the project itself. My thoughts on Ape Escape 3 and the project in general. I know I took a lot of breaks in this, and that is my fault again. I'm just glad to be finally done with it. Not like how I was with Ape Escape 2, though. Ape Escape 3, I honestly still loved. Even when it was going through all the backtracking one, towards the end, it sort of was me getting a bit bored, but even then, I still enjoy the game greatly. I love Ape Escape 3. When it comes to the numbered franchise, Ape Escape 3 is my favorite, with Ape Escape 1 being close behind. The music is great. The voice acting is kind of hit or miss, and the fact that's more of an American problem than it is a European and Japanese problem, because in Europe and Japan, they've always had the same voice actors ever since the first Ape Escape game. So, what do I think about the voice actors that they got for this one? I have to say, the Freaky Monkey 5's voice actors were pretty spot on in this one. I did like all of the Freaky Monkey 5's voice actors in this one. I mean, compared to Ape Escape 2's, I don't have really much to go on. And the Japanese one, they've always had the same. But I do have to say, I'm glad that they kept the ones from Ape Academy and put them into Ape Escape 3. That's one of the instances in which they did. Now, what do I think about K and Yumi overall? Uh, they're kind of hit or miss. With how it is with the translation for the localization, some of it was sort of botched. That's why there were certain jokes that I could tell were sort of messed up. For example, the pudding thing at the beginning of the game in the first cutscene. That was a mistranslation. Now, when it comes to the characters themselves of Kei and Yumi, I like how Kei is. And Yumi is always supposed to be this arrogant, self-centered person who's always like that. She's always been like that. Wow, these credits are very, very short. Great. God dang it. I was kind of hoping the credits would be longer, because normally the credits are longer. <laughs> oh, anyway, I suppose I can spend the rest of what I'm talking about. Ah, new mode available. Check on the screen. I guess I will show this off. It's basically like a new game plus sort of thing. It's sort of like how it was for Ape Escape 2, in which in Ape Escape 2 you could play the new game as Spike with all of the gadgets. Maybe Monkey Red really thinks his own farts don't stink. Wow. Re really? I, I just caught Spectre. Okay, so as I was saying, for the characters for K and Yumi themselves, I like them a lot more than Jimmy. I'll say that right now. I hate Jimmy. If you've watched my Ape Escape 2 LP, you know I hate Jimmy. I will always hate Jimmy. It's a fact. It's a given fact. So, since this episode's a bit shorter, as you can see, we can buy the last two soundtracks. I am not... Oh, wait, no, I haven't. Just barely had enough. That is all the collectibles in the game, because I also have everything for this. I kind of... I, I'm probably going to end up splitting it up at some point for this, but I will say that for Apescape 3 overall, I enjoyed it, and I have to say, I kept more enthusiasm in this one than compared to Ape Escape 2, but because by the end of Ape Escape 2, I honestly wanted that game to end. I did not want... I don't like it that much. I don't know. And the funny part is, Ape Escape 2 was actually my first ever Ape Escape game I ever played. I played Ape Escape 2, then Ape Escape 1, then Ape Escape 3. No, I played Ape Escape 2, Ape Escape 1, pumped in primed, and then I played 3, because 3 wasn't localized here until a while later. So, overall, I have to say, I really enjoy the game. I enjoy the bosses, the voice acting, while well, hit or miss. Uh, Nolan North's delivery on Dr. Tomoki was good at times, but it wasn't perfect. But, and Spectre, I kind of enjoyed his Apescape 1 voice actor a bit more, and that's always going to be the case. Spectre's never really had the best one. But a good second place I would have to give to the Spectre voice actor for this one. I can't believe I'm already forgetting their names. For the Freaky Monkey 5, you already know I really like it. So, overall, anyway guys, I'm going to end it off right here. This has been Roxas1359, and I'll see you guys for the bonus episode, which is the finale of Ape Escape 3. See you guys then!